Alvin Green. Alvin Green. Alvin Green. He's working his way toward household name status, or maybe he's already there. It seems everyone wants an interview with, and is getting an interview with, Senate hopeful Alvin Green. By the time people go to the polls, it's, it's too late. But former newspaper reporter Daniel Brownstein wants to know, where were the cameras and notebooks before the votes were cast? Yeah, there's a lot of talk about uneducated voters going to the polls, but I think in this case with Alvin Green, it was impossible for somebody to do their homework uh, and be an educated voter. He says you can blame it on sloppiness, reporter cutbacks, or just the fact no one thought this would ever happen as to why the media failed to do their job of informing voters about who Alvin Green really is. But still, no excuse. As a former newspaper reporter, I know um, how easy it is to do a background check on a candidate. It's something that's routinely done. It's um, the state law enforcement division does it free of charge for the media. Um, so I, th I think it's just ridiculous that somebody didn't bother to call Alvin Green, get his date of birth or his social security number and run a background check on him. It's a case of lessons learned across the board. Only South Carolina! Just a little too late before the jokes began. Holly Bounds, WSAV News 3.